Vince grew up in Martins Ferry, having graduated from Yorkville High School before moving on to Ohio State University. He became a coaching legend at both the high school and college level in Central Ohio. He won a state championship with Lyndon McKinley in 1967 and spent 12 years as head coach of the boys team. In 1969, he went to Capital University and coached there for 10 seasons. His teams at Capital won three Ohio Athletic Conference championships and made two NCAA regional appearances. His Capital teams had 179 wins, 72 losses. Coach Chicarella returned to high school coaching at St. Francis DeSales High School. He spent three seasons there from 1984 to 87. His DeSales teams posted a 50 and 21 record and won the state title in that 1987 season. His teams at Hilliard then won 47 games during his three years at the school from 87 to 91. Vince Ciccarella died in 2011 at the age of 81. His son Tom is here this evening to accept his award and share some of the memories of his dad, a Central Ohio coaching legend. We welcome him into the Ohio Basketball Hall of Fame. Tom. Well, thanks everyone. It's certainly an honor to be here tonight amongst all the basketball greats. And thank you to the committee for selection of my father. Uh, I think he just would have lived two more years if he knew this was coming tonight. So, <laughs> um, but my dad was really passionate about several things in life. He was a passionate guy and he's certainly most passionate about family first. So uh, we have a great collection of our family t here tonight. I'd like to call out my sister Jan, who's here, and my stepmother Burl, uh, as well as many other members of the family. And so thanks for everyone for coming. Uh, certainly, uh, there's a lot of other folks I'd like to acknowledge quickly. Uh, a couple of other guys that know a, a little bit about basketball, Gene Davis, Tony Pizzuti, Steve Dedent, who are really uh, cohorts uh, with my dad in some coaching missions. So thanks, guys, for attending. Um, my dad always had a special place for his players. Um, I grew up watching basketball. I watched basketball every summer. I was at camps all the time, and I, I watched these guys. And there's some guys here tonight, Weekly, Hummerkauser, Stump, Wolf, Daffler, Gaskell. I didn't even know these guys had first names because my dad was yelling at them the whole time. But really, that bond that uh, he formed with the players was very special. And I know if he was here tonight, he, he would just be so tickled to have folks here and um, uh, putting, this, uh, putting this honor uh, in place tonight. So very exciting. You know, I guess you always ask, why are some teams more successful? And when I'm watching games today, I think it's even more true. But my dad's teams always had great fundamentals. They knew what to do. They played tough, tough defense. They played with pressure all the time. And they expected to win. They expected to win every game. So I think that's what set them apart. So that special bond with players, I know my dad expected a lot from people, but it was very rewarding for him to get those calls years later from players every day, thanking him for the tremendous influence they had had on his life. So on behalf of my dad, uh, Vince, thank you very much for honoring us tonight. 